Are you guys like all looking for something serious? Oh, yeah, I want to be. Kids. Yes, I want to yeah. pop out a kid in the next year and a half, maybe two. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I'm on shit. that type of time. <laughs> I wanted to be married yesterday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you have an estimate, like how many first dates? Let's say maybe twenty first meets with. I would say 200. 200? <laughs> oh, my god! That's Girl, I did a lot. Can I ask I told you a question? For the plot. I can't yeah. say yes to everybody. About your roster. Mm -hmm. So how, what are the cons of having a roster? Cons. Because you said, you said that you get exhausted. Mm -hmm. So don't you think there should be a moment in your time where maybe you shouldn't have a roster and just focus on one? <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, I feel yeah. like when I was mm -hmm. younger, I, I used to do that. I, I did focus on one at a time. But... Oh, yeah. Uh, I realized that I was wasting so much of my time. Yeah. And, you know, like mm. when you're a woman, you only have certain amount of time that you can, you know, certain amount of time to ha like have a find a, a husband, get married, mm. have kids, all these things. So mm. I got to a point where I was wasting like three to six months on yeah. a guy who was literally not ever going to be marriage material or husband material. But I wasted all that time because I thought I was going to dedicate all of my time and energy to this one person and it was going to work out. And then I realized maybe I should have scaled it back a bit and see what he's about and see what kind of person he is and the effort that he's making before I kind of went all in. So I think that's when I started the roster life because mm. now I'm splitting my energy and I'm not like breaking my heart over and over again every three to six month stint. So that's why... That's that's the logic behind the roster. Men, that's how yeah. men date also. Men date oh, yeah. talking to yeah. many men and then they decide Men talk ones. to multiple Let women. Let me not speak about all men because I time. saw you roll your eyes and I'm not talking about all men, but in general, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No, it wasn't an eye roll. It was okay. more of a uh, eyebrow raise. Oh. I, didn't, I, I mean, just like, definitely not all men. Not all men, no, no but like in general, yeah, I, I think the way that you guys look or seek out relationships as a whole mm. is by nature differently, just biologically what we're made to do. Mm. Did you have more on that? Yes. Or? So when you have a roster, do you feel like you're the one who's wearing the pants or you're the one pursuing them? Or how does that work? Mm. Because I feel like the guy should be pursuing us. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so how does that work with you? What, I only have, have you yeah, I, that's a great question. I only have a roster because multiple guys are pursuing me. Like multiple guys are asking for my time. Mm. Like they're like, hey, are you available Friday? Well, I got to check because... Bobby, Joe, and Mo like <laughs> texted me too, and they also want my time. So I feel like the roster kind of just got built around the interest. And like, okay. if I have so many people like wanting my time, they're probably not all worth my time. But I don't know that exactly. yet. So, and I don't want to say like no because I said yes to this one guy. I'd be like, well, I have two hours scheduled on Thursday night at seven p.m. Are you down? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. and just kind of schedule them out that way. Okay. <laughs> Cool. And do you like go on dates with them or yeah. are you just like, okay. Oh yeah. I don't. And that's another thing too. I feel like I'm so traditional and I'm so mm -hmm. like, you know, you got to take me out on a date. Like let's, let's do dinner. Let's do movie. Let's do roller skating. Like let's do an activity um, for me to really get an idea of who you are as a person, especially yeah. in public. I think a lot of, a lot, especially online guys, like a lot of guys will, you know, be like, Hey, what? And I never met them. Like, Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Um, why don't you come to my house for a dinner? I can cook you dinner and we can watch a movie at my house. It's like, sir, do you want to get robbed? Because you don't know me. You don't know yeah. if I'm going to set you up. Like you, you just don't know. And you're so comfortable inviting a strange woman from the yeah. internet to your home. And a lot of that, a lot of guys feel that way on dating apps. So yeah. I'm just like, I'm not about that life. I'm yeah. very like, I want to be careful. Yeah. And she, Absolutely. I mean, I want to just piggyback on her saying the Rob thing. Like men, I've, I've commented something and someone else had said that, oh, you know, why was she, she going to go and get, she's going to rob the guy. But it's like the, where we're coming from is as a woman, anytime you invite us over to your house, what goes through our minds is you could drug us and you could do, you know, Words. any very good, you could do anything. And mm. so we have to take that into account when we say yes to anything and that's even in public so it's almost like a privilege that a man gets to be able to say come over to my house and he's not even giving a second thought that you could be robbed you know that anything that could happen to you but we think that immediately that is very true word can i just have you tilt your microphone down like this yeah just perfect, perfect. um so okay just going back to the uh how many first dates question do you how many first dates do you think you've been on i thought it was i thought it was doing good by saying 20 but you said ever in my life i don't know maybe oh yeah yeah maybe whole like life. maybe 50 not 50 a first whole dates. lot okay and then well i dated during middle school right but you so. said in 11 years you haven't even been like approached hit it, no 
Really? Yeah. You Do just you, you just stay at home all the time? No. Like, guys don't. No. So I feel like one of the ma- major things that I encounter is getting friend zoned a lot. I've had a lot of crushes, mm-hmm. and I kind of let them know, like you know, I give them my attention, but they just never make a move. Mm-hmm. What's your type? Like, what What's if you're just type? going after the wrong type of dude? Well, I mean, I'm not with. I mean, I don't date. I don't. I don't have like online apps. Maybe that can help. But uh, and I guess in when I was in college, I had opportunities to date. But I only met like three types of guy. The first type of guy is that one guy that's already in a committed relationship. Once he graduates, he's gonna get married. They're already planning their wedding. The second type of guy, he's like, oh no, I want to go to medical school. I don't want to date nobody. Mm-hmm. I don't want to commit. The third type of guy is like, I want to like hoe around. So yeah. it was kind of hard for me to date during college. And right now I'm not really surrounded by a lot of guys. And the guys that I am surrounded with, they're, they're already like married. So I feel like my surroundings have something yes. to do with it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a factor. Because I, I I, I, I've lived in the city for the past decade. So like, I think uh, there's more like opportunity and a lot more influx of people when you live in a city versus the suburbs but i feel like when i go like mm-hmm. to ohio for example to like visit family or whatever and i'll swipe out there i feel like i do meet great guys with great mindsets that want to like get to know me for real and want to take mm-hmm. me on things like that and i feel like i do get good, some good quality guys out there it's just not a lot of options and it's yeah. like it's just hard to like meet in the middle i guess with that but and I definitely I, think environment. Exactly. And I meet a lot of traditional men. So a lot of them at this age are already married. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's just, I guess I'm, I'm 25. So I'm kind of that in the middle age and just kind of seeing what's out there. But I feel like maybe I should be putting in a, some more work in dating. But I just don't want to go online. And I'm great at meeting people. I'm great at meeting guys. I'm a huge extrovert, out, you know, and but they just never make a move. Yeah, and you're you gorgeous so they're bugging like yeah, you gotta put yourself yeah. in places where you're gonna be approached by men you know? where is that I mean, <laughs> let me know it depends what kind of man that you want right yeah but, i mean often maybe a red like a bar or someplace mm-hmm. like do you want someplace a religious go, yeah. man as well i heard you were religious right yeah like, so do he want? does have to have a relationship with god you know god has to be number one i can be number two mm-hmm. um but he yeah he definitely needs to have a relationship with god he needs to have self-control, like all those virtues a lot of Christian people look for. In do you go to a church where there's uh, single men? I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Right. Like, like I, like I said before, I am around a lot of people, just haven't been approached. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, sorry. Hold on. We got. Asian Ukes student donated one hundred dollars. <laughs> Well, 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 to all the fat phobic jerks in the chat, you shouldn't make fun of fat people. They've got enough on their plates already. <laughs> Ladies, nice, bro. Up, be nice, guys. ignore them. Be the bigger person. Do you guys have a res- I just, response? I, I think he's so sweet. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Do we have enough on our plates? Okay. There, there you have it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> you guys uh, have a good... Uh, Taking it on the chin, I, I guess. I mean, he spent money to do that, so that's you nice. Know. Thank you. I love when a man spends money on me, so thank you. So, 